Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the multicolor string theory or better method. I'm going to color them in with a lot of leftover paint. You can do multiple things with this. You can color in pieces with different colors or you just drop, drop the string into one color itself. I'm going to do the first one with multiple colors so let me just do that. I kind of messed it up in the middle so bear with me, I'm gonna fix it but then I'm also gonna dump it into one solid color and you can see how that works. You can have long strings and you can have short strings, they all make different effects so it's kind of experimenting and see what you like best. Okay, they're all done now. Just a final touch up and then we can go. The next step is to cover your canvas with a thin layer of white. Make sure it's evenly distributed because you're not going to tilt. Then you can start and put your string. It's good to do it in a circular motion, you can do it in the middle, you can do it at the side, whatever you like, and you pull it down or to the side or whatever you like. Look, this is pretty cool. So let's take another one that has multicolor, I'm gonna distribute it again, and then I'm gonna also pull it. You can see what the multicolor does here. It is green at the bottom, it is purple at the top, so that's also a very cool effect. I have to say eventually it would be nicer to have some short one too, because I really think I'm gonna mess it up with having too much and too much in the middle specifically. But yeah, like I said, bear with me. I'm gonna fix it and it's gonna turn out nice. But that's why I said you have to experiment with it. If you look at the middle now, you see it's kind of muddy and all weird. That is also the case if you have too much white in the middle, it's going to build up and leave a weird effect. Now I should have eventually left that part out and leave it just very settled. Um, but now I kind of have to do more to fix it. So this is the second option. You can just dump the complete string into the color whatever you have, whatever you like. Um, it's, a sim it's the same effect, just with one color and probably a little bit easier to do. But also here, unfortunately, I pulled it down the middle, so that's not cool at all anymore. So I didn't like it and I just moved on to fix it. You can easily dump the line again into the colors, multicolors you already prepared. This is just a sheet of plastic. And as you can see, I again pulled it through the middle, uh, while I actually thought I, I'm not going to do that again. So it's still not cool and I'm just going to move on. So the blue flower looks nice now. Of course I still need to do something with the rest. I'm gonna do some more strings. I'm gonna add other acrylic pouring effects and go back to strings. And I think the final product's gonna look pretty nice.
I don't like it how it layers up at the sides or in the middle so I'm gonna add something else that which are some little swipes just with a stick to make a cool pattern at the sides and kind of make it a combination out of different methods of acrylic pouring. If you touch the surface very, very light with a flat stick, you can make very little, nice swipe pattern and it's going to have a real lacing effect, so that's very pretty. By torching, the little lacing and cells are going to come out even more and as always, it's also going to pop air bubbles. You only need to make sure that you always have a clean stick and that you don't wipe over it multiple times because it's all just going to mix up. Now I do like the swipes and some of the strings, but I don't like the middle where it all comes together. So I gonna add some more strings method and pull it all down and add some more blue to the whole mixture. There is some white in the middle that I want to get rid of, so I'm going to add another string again with blue, but that happens if you have too much white, so keep it thin. I do like that, so I'm only going to touch up a little bit with green at the bottom. Now let me give you a close-up and also a picture of the final painting. Thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up, leave a nice comment and hope to see you soon.